We are back again with another video. It's your favorite older blended couple. If this is your first time here, I'm Sylvia. And I'm Alan. And we've been married for 22 years. So we know a thing or two about marriage, don't we, darling? Oh, yes. Anyway, that's not what we are talking about today. Even though your smokatos is the same color as your. Yeah, shirt you know, I like, you know, I like red. Cheers. Got your nice colour there. Strawberry mm. Moscato. So guys, without further ado, let's get straight into what we are going to talk about. We are going to talk about a very, very important couple, American couple, that made this, what you're looking at right now, this blended, this blending possible. Legal even. They made it legal. They made it possible, they paved the way. Had it not been for these two people, I can tell you for sure, I wouldn't be sitting here with you right now. In America, maybe in another country, yeah. but in America, probably not. No, no. We probably wouldn't have moved from um, the United Kingdom, Kingdom yeah. to uh, where we are right now in the United States of America. So without further ado, let me just tell you who I'm talking about. I didn't realize how bad it was until we got married. More than 50 years ago, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in favor of Richard and Mildred Loving, granting them and anyone the right to marry a spouse of a different race. It was a historic moment for civil rights in America, but also a very personal one. We are talking about an American couple, Richard and Mildred, who were arrested for illegally cohabiting together because they were of different culture, ethnicity. So it was illegal, it was a crime back then. We're talking 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this happened in 1967. Yeah, and I was born in 1967. Yeah. So yeah, more than 50 years ago now. So the story is Richard and Mildred met when Mildred was 11 years old. Uh, Richard was 17 years old, so he was six years older. Then Richard was actually a family friend. Hold up guys, I need to make sure. Richard was a family friend. Actually it's um, said that his father worked for a, one of the wealthiest black men in um, Caroline, Carolina or Caroline County in Virginia. That's where they were born. So when Mildred was 18, they were already dating, Richard and Mildred. Then when she was 18, she got pregnant. Then Richard loved her so much. He said, you know what? I want to marry you, babe. Let's go to Washington, Virginia. No, Washington, D.C. It's the wine is talking. <laughs> yeah, he was probably drunk at the time as well. <laughs> Let's go to Washington, D.C. to get married. My understanding is Mildred didn't know why. He just thought that he wanted to go to Washington, D.C. Maybe it was a cool place or something like that. Anyway, they went there, they got married. Because it wasn't illegal in Washington, I guess, D.C. When they got back to uh, Caroline, uh, Caroline County in Virginia, that very night, somebody tipped the police, grasped them up, or you know, they were snitches. Spilt the beans. And told them that, you know, they got married, whatever. So the police came and arrested them. They were sentenced to one year. With the 25 years suspended. Uh, suspended on condition that they leave Caroline Carolina or Caroline County in Virginia, like leave the state because they were not allowed to be seen together as a, as a couple in that state. They could come separately, but yeah. not just together. So they went somewhere, Columbia, second West Columbia or something, Columbia. Um, this happened in 1958, by the way. So in 1964, Mildred got fed up of, well, like when they visited their family in um, Virginia, Virginia. 
had to do it one at a time. One at a time. They couldn't come together. They couldn't travel together because they were not supposed to be seen. Otherwise, they, all was, they were going to be thrown in jail. Remember, they, they were suspended or whatever, the sentence. But anyway, so she got really fed up, Mildred, and she's like, I'm fed enough. So she approached an attorney. I think his name was F. Kennedy. George or Robert F. Kennedy, who then referred it to some civil rights uh, movement or people who f uh, filed a suit and against against Virginia, Virginia, yeah. Virginia, yes, and um, the Supreme Court ruled in uh, Richard five, five, five. and Mildred's favor, so they banned the law that says. You couldn't marry someone from another culture, values, beliefs, what is, you know, called interracial, or race, should I say. But we're not interracial, because we're from the same race, it's called the human race, so it's a blending. Okay. So, they came back to Virginia with their children, I think they had three children, if I'm not mistaken. Unfortunately, Richard died, he, I think he was 47, he wasn't that old, and um, I, we really, really thank them mm -hmm. for paving the way for us, for making this possible, um, not just for us, but for, for everybody else. A lot of uh, other blended couples out there. Uh, so I salute Richard and Mildred for you know their bravery pathing the way paving yes. the way paving the way for you know a better life for exactly us humans exactly and the human race cheers richard and mildred wherever you are unfortunately they are no longer with us but you know we still thank them we'll never forget them because 50 years ago 60 years ago this wouldn't be possible no. so um Nowadays, I don't think it happens so much. It's not that, it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, like being seen together. Okay, people are gonna have attitudes, whatever. Um, you know, but it's not a big deal. I mean, we can still get married. Um, you still go for a drink together? We can still do things Sit together. On the same bus. Yeah, exactly. You know, we go can go to the same hotel. Same hotel, same restaurant, same, you know. So it's not a big deal. Um, do you know that Mariah Carey, you know, she's mixed race. Mm -hmm. I heard that her family was um, chucked out of the neighborhood mm -hmm. because, you know, of the blended couple, uh, I mean, blended family they were. But um, nowadays, I believe that it's more family issues. Like, if your family doesn't want you to marry yeah. outside your culture or values or beliefs, then you have a problem. Mm. But not so the society. No, society's not so bad now. It's I mean, you so still bad. get a few strange looks now and again. Well, well what the, the funniest thing is, they don't seem to accept that we're together. And that they I don't. Think, I, it's no, strange. no, no. I don't think. Don't say they um. They don't accept. They, they don't, don't realize, expect. Yeah. They don't expect don't that realize, we are together. Yeah. It's not that obvious until we you you say or I say, he's my husband. Oh, we are together. Yeah. Oh, that's my wife. They don't like if we're in a line to what? go into Costco's or somewhere. Oh yeah. And anyway, I show my Costco card. Then they and I'm following. Card. They wanna see my card. I'm like, that's my wife. It's a family card, right? It's you know me, him, like you know husband, wife, like you know we share the same card. Okay, so I can go in with him. Oh, that's your wife. Oh, that's your husband. So mm. that we get it from both. Um, ethnicities. Yeah. Whether it's a black person standing by Costco door or a or white person, person yeah. it's the same reaction. They don't expect him to be with me. Yeah, I expect because I'm, I'm so handsome. And they, you know. I was about to say because I'm so <laughs> yeah, cute. I know that's why I beat you to the draw. <laughs> I was about I to say. That silly girl. I was about honestly. I know you were. That's why I butted in <laughs> quick. You've got to get in quick. I was about to say because I'm so cute. And also, you know, people always say, I look younger than you. Mm. You know that, right? Yeah, no, that's how they don't upset you. Well, <laughs> you know, they say black don't crack. 
Mm-hmm. That's why people say, oh, what, are, what, why are you, you know, on TikTok, oh, the comments. Yeah. Don't do this to this old man. Don't do that to this old man. You are abusing this old man. Yeah, because I don't know we're doing skits. <laughs> people believe what they see. Exactly. So anyway, we will be back again with another video. If you are in a blended relationship, please tell us in the comments what you think about what we just talked about, Richard and Mildred. And if you have any issues, you know, because you are a blended couple, is it because of your family? Is it because of your society? Did you have to move from a neighborhood because you were a blended couple or family? Uh, did you have to leave a job or anything that was affected because you were a blended couple? Please let us know. We'd love to know that. Bye. Adios. See you again. With another video. Mm. Charles. Mm. Mm. Is that a nice one? Oh yeah, I love it. This is my last glass. Please don't beat me anymore. I'm done. Okay? But you keep beating me over the head with the pan saying I want more, I want more. So what do you want me to do? No, that's not true. Oh, look at this TikTok. <laughs>